what I wanted to cover right now is uh, fastening and uh, and uh, uh, what it takes to um, do something um, like a staircase, um, you know, just maybe uh, just the way I do it, I guess is the best way to say it, um, the way I was trained and um, uh, so that brings us to, what is it, five cordless drills? Yeah. Donna, 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 no, 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 uh, uh, a book about product. Can see it all now. Engineers, architects, math. Oh, how am I ever going to get this done? So anyway, um, yeah, um, I had to come into the office, and uh, this is uh, this is the product Duralife. Um, and it discusses their product and whatnot. And actually, I, th I, I like the product. Um, for something that's not wood, um, it's pretty cool. Let me see here. I should have had the page freaking marked. What we're looking for are the old fasteners in here. Ah, oh, I just turned to it. Okay, well, so, hidden fastening systems. Um, this was a no-go. These are strips that sit on the top. Um, that the decking just clips into. I was not on board with that, so these these are the clips that I was talking about, um, which actually there was no problem with those guys. Those went in, those have gone in fine from day one, but these guys, um, yeah, that's not even close. Um, so. Oh, it's so easy. Don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. <laughs> okay, back to the show. Yeah, so, um, but uh, we're slowly working our way up. Riser tread, riser tread, riser tread. Um, but uh, why, all this, why all the cordless, you ask? <laughs> well, uh, there's a method to the madness. Um, the first thing we have to do is remove this, which is uh, a Phillips. And uh, these are cheap. That's why we use them. Um, for permanent stuff, we use the Torx um, constr exterior construction screws. Um, so we've right off the bat, we've got one drill. And... Uh, then uh, so we get that off, and then our next our next uh, task is to get the uh, uh, riser cut to length, um, which is about seven and three sixteenths. All of these uh, holes that you see get plugged, um, and uh, there's a uh, there's a specialized bit for that. Um, got two types of screws actually three types of screws there's the clips for the deck joints right there which is this drill but before you set those guys you have to pre-drill with this guy um, and then for the risers it's a stainless steel trim screw which is Fortunately, two of the fasteners are the same, are the same torques, so that gets driven with this. Um, 
but if it's going to show, uh, then it has to be countersunk thusly like this so that a plug can go in it. We have got plugs that are the same color, um, varying colors because this is a three color deck. Um, but that has to go deep enough so the plug goes in or you're cutting plugs, you're trimming plugs, which is a giant time sponge which we're trying to avoid um there is some of it because what what we've learned or what i've i've uh after you know a few weeks of dealing with both all of these screws the only one that's going in mostly a hundred percent are the screw clips um, and we're running into a problem of uh that uh these uh both screws won't go to the right depth. And after much thought, I mean, it was down into the 50% um, of these screws, not compressing enough and not going deep enough um, and causing a real problem, causing uh, some of them were just uh, bottoming out and, uh, and just sitting there and spinning, you know, an eighth of an inch below the, the finished surface, which really doesn't, help us it actually hurts us because then we have to figure out what we're going to do in some instances like the skirt board we just left the screws we've flushed them up they're painted and i think those will be all right um to plug the skirt board would be an enormous uh, time sponge and that's something i think we could save the customer um labor on and they were okay with it uh but the stairs is a little different story as you go up you've got you've got these holes that are going to be right at eye level and so we've got to make it look very good um so uh tried different things um to no avail got it up past 50 percent and then this morning i had an idea of another drill and another bit uh, this is a uh, quarter inch hole and I've got a quarter inch uh, it's darn near a brad point bit it's not quite a brad point bit but you can see can you see the point on that guy maybe nah, nah. anyway um, so what I'm having to do is uh, very carefully and very slowly remove more material so the screw can set. So we've got three screws. There's two. Um, and then the trim screws are in my pouch. And there's all these different operations. Um, and I tried it with, I tried it with two drills yesterday. Um, one was an impact wrench and a drill and I'm just losing time. So, um, uh, just have to keep adapting and keep pushing um, to make the situation better. And you have to really slow down um, and figure it out. Um, this uh, bit right here is metered. It's a set depth. In other words, when you go down with it, that's the hole that it makes. And then whichever screw you decide to put in, whether it's a trim screw for a vertical or a, a deck screw, um, it's supposed to crush the material inside, compress the material inside that hole and countersink appropriately. But uh, sometimes I wonder what the engineers are thinking. Because this screw right here, can you see it? This set of threads are clockwise. There, you can probably see that better. This set of threads are clockwise, and they're wood threads. And then you have a smooth part of the shank right there. And then this... Uh, come on, phone. Maybe it's dirty. These are reverse threads. And then it's a little like trapezoid type shaped uh, cap, which 
honestly don't know how they came up with that. Um, so anyway, um, let me get let me get some of this going, and I'll bring you guys back and show you the trials and tribulations that, uh, which means it's a pain in the, um, uh, and just show you what, what we're, I'm going through with this, um, because, uh, here we have a situation that you can't, there's not an option to install these to where, I mean, these were bought, these are expensive. They come with a bit and they come with, uh, plugs and, uh, the plugs have to be flush. Um, otherwise it looks like poo. And so there's really no option to just kind of shrug your shoulders and go, well, I can't get the screws to work. They have to work. And so, um, you have to keep, you know, you can't, you can't keep, uh, beating your head against the wall. So you have to find a way to make it work. So I think today, I think I've got it working as good as it's going to get. Um, and you just have to go slow. And even then, you get a screw that breaks, or with the stainless, it twists. And if you build up too much heat with the stainless screw, and you've got torque on it, it just twists right off. So it's been, it's been fun, shall we say. Anyway, um, I will see you guys in a minute. We are back. So, uh, I got my riser on. It's cut to length. And like I said, this is square and it's cut flush from one end on the bottom ends. Um, so, because I know that's, that's my measurement, that's consistent. So you can see, whoopsie. Um, you can see where am I? There I am. See how much that's hanging over? And it's, where are we? There we are. So we're flush down at the very bottom. So we'll take this bar clamp and we'll pull that in. That's how much that's, that little horn there is, uh, is hanging out. Um, so anyway, back to the fasteners. So that's my first step. Now, um, here I will the the tread will cover it up, and uh, but here it won't. So I've got to get a plug in there. So I've got this drill on its slow setting, its slow torque setting, and I mean that's it. That's all I need out of that. So now I take my trim screw. We're going stainless this time. And I take my drill. Cause I found that using an impact wrench with these, the hammering. Okay. Let's watch this go in. Now I can get a plug in that. If I didn't do that, it would bottom out and it would end up farther in than that, but it would end up to where I couldn't get a plug in there without standing on my head. So that's the trim screw situation on the risers. So I'll get some treads cut and then I'll show you, I'll show you that here in a sec. Bye for now. And did I forget? Oh, you are dirty. There we go. Did I, did I forget to mention after so many, uh, holes, this freaking bit decides it wants to break. So in the middle of all this, you have to deal with broken bits. So I had to buy a, a 10 pack of bits. Um, so then you got to get the Allen wrench out and change out the drill bit. Uh, yeah, these systems, talk to you in a bit. And what that means, not only changing the bit, but after getting three, two fasteners in, that means 
you have to carefully remove this because you've got a bit stuck in the wood and I need that hole. So you got to dig in your pouch. I guess you guys have seen those before. This looks like a job for the trusty old vice grips. So now hopefully we can get a bite on it and twist it out of there. I think it's going to be positive. There, well, where the heck is, are you guys? There we are. Yeah. So, welcome to my world. <laughs> welcome to my world. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, talk to you in a bit. All right. So, we're uh, moving on down the line. Um, we got uh, our riser on, and we got our back portion of the tread on. Um, so this and this for fastening, and then this for deepening the counter bore. Just, I mean, we're talking an eighth of an inch. We're talking success. An eighth of an inch means success our failure. Um, so anyway, we put the clips in the groove. You can see the groove. Now we're not gonna screw those down yet. We're gonna go ahead. We have the remaining portion of the tread. Uh, see if I can get this in one-handed. Probably not. Um, let's see here. Oh, there we go. There, that was a good picture. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll flush those guys up so it's gotta come this way just a little bit. Just a little. Get that guy in. Okay, that guy. So we need a little more, a little more. That might work. Now we're. Yeah, that's good. So that's nice and flush. Um, so now, because it matters, we'll measure with our speed square two and three quarters. And that's where our, uh, for each stringer, that's where our hole will go. And then we'll set those screws and then we'll run these clips uh, last. So anyway, uh, we'll get this done and I'll show you the finished product.